Hey Aries, so excuse the nails, they're falling off. I gotta get them done on Thursday. They hurt to take them off, so I just kind of let them fall. So I ain't worried about it. Anyway, universe, what is the messages for Aries? Sun, rising, Venus, Saints. What are the messages for Aries? Sun, rising, and Venus, Saints. Okay, I don't know why Spirit just told me. Someone is watching you. I don't think it's creepy. I don't think it's anything to worry about, but I definitely feel that there could be somebody um, on social media that is very interested in what you're doing. Like, it's like when they get on Snapchat, they person they go to your story, like they actually type your name in. I feel like something like that could be happening. And um, we do have the Four of Swords of the Empress, so this is a random message, but I do feel like somebody's pregnancy is going to go just fine. So I don't know if that was like a worry um that maybe somebody had or something's gonna go just fine for um someone so if that was a worry that was a message for them and risk what is the energy surrounding aries and maybe some of you guys could be dealing with a libra what is the messages okay hold on what are the messages for aries Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. I love these two cards together. With the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles, something that you are working towards or working on or saving towards or investing in, whatever it is, something's going to really pay off for you over time. So if you have been thinking about putting your time, your energy, and your money into starting a business or into doing stocks or into whatever the advice is to go ahead and do that. What is the energy surrounding Aries? Okay, two of wands with the six of wands. Okay, so I'm feeling like some of you guys could be um, at, a cross, at a crossroads of like kind of what to do. I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to have some great job offers coming in. Um, I do feel like you're going to have a choice between um, two job offers or two situations that you could go to. I'm also gonna say getting auditions for some reason. Some of you guys could be actors or dancers or something like that. I do feel like an audition is going to go very well. We do have the devil card here. So for some reason, I feel that somebody... Okay, I feel like somebody is like, like I said, I felt like somebody was watching you. I feel like somebody could be a little bit obsessed with you here um, with the double card. I don't know why I'm just picturing like a model or a dancer. Like, I feel like you have like an obsessed fan, but this person could be someone that you know or someone that you've dated. It doesn't feel creepy. You know? like, it's not as creepy as I'm making it sound, but I do feel um, somebody has an obsession with you kind of sort of. We do have the emperor card here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are on your shit. I love that the Emperor and the Empress are here. This this is like a power couple type of situation. So for some of you guys in relationships, I definitely feel that this year is your guys' year. So definitely be aware of that. I do feel also some of you guys could be getting pregnant. Or could be pregnant. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign. I'm also getting um, a Virgo here with the Hermit card. Um, but I'm also getting that you guys could have razor sharp focus on something that you're working on. Like with the Queen of Swords here and the Emperor, I definitely feel in that you are not letting shit get in your way of your success for sure. With the Six of Wands here being right in the center of the reading, you are not letting shit get in the way of your success. Um, very good energy here. Okay, yeah, we have the world card. You're making something happen for yourself. I do, like, it's, uh, they're telling me self-paid. Like, I really feel you're making something happen for yourself, but this is a business. Um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting your time and your energy into, it is working out for you. Okay. Why is the devil card here? Okay, I'm also getting addiction. There's going to be somebody struggling with addiction. Whether this is you or this is somebody closer, um, close to you. We do have the Three of Cups here. Okay, so this is interesting. I feel like some of you guys are going to be very tempted to reconcile with a Sagittarius or with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, for some reason, the, the devil card is here next to the Three of Cups. Maybe this isn't the best idea. I do want to clarify these two cards, but... I'm really, okay, so maybe it's because one of you guys may be in a relationship. Maybe an ex wants to reconcile and you know catch up maybe somebody's in a relationship like maybe they're in a relationship or you are whatever it is i feel like this meetup is not a good idea for some reason let's see why is the devil here with the three of cups okay king of wands 
Why is the devil here with three of cups? King of Wands, your guys' energy. Could be the person that you're dealing with. Yeah, I I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it's just not a good idea. Whether it's because this person that's coming back is offering breadcrumbs like this. Page of Cups energy, it's not a bad energy. But it's also not like the King of Cups or like anything significant, really. So the advice could be not to get tied up in this situation again or you know maybe if this person is in a relationship but you're in a relationship of course maybe this reconciliation maybe isn't the best um idea but i do feel like you will be presented with that um option or situation that this person does want to reconcile with you now i love this energy up here with the four of swords the first card is always the um not the most important but just like the strongest energy in the reading and it's the four of swords four of swords represents being able to relax after a hard time. So I'm really feeling that things are going to become more relaxing for you guys if you guys have been dealing with maybe some difficult things with family or with a child or, you know, just in the home in general, whatever. Things are really going to start picking up for you guys. So any additional messages Aries should know? Oh, hello. Okay. Seven of Swords and a Magician. I never like these two cards together. Seven of Swords is a, ooh, and the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, okay. So basically, this, somebody's being deceitful, like for sure. The Magician, Seven of Swords, somebody is manipulating you. This is almost like, they're manipulating you to make something happen for themselves. So like, this is the used card salesman energy. Maybe that car will fall apart right this fucking second you drive off the lot and they knew that. Like, it's, that's just an example, but like, um, it's that type of energy. So if you do kind of have somebody like that in your life at this time, advice is just to walk away from the situation because it's not going to get any better. Whether this is a friend or someone you're dating, whatever, family member even, um, advice is to um, let that go. But with the Five of Swords here and the Magician, I don't like this because the Five of Swords, this is hidden agenda. Somebody has a plan to either steal from you, to make you believe something whatever so like if you have kind of intuitively felt i mean i feel like with these cards coming out this person could be throwing up major red flags so definitely listen to those red flags so anyway i hope that this reading was helpful for you guys if you guys would like a personal reading you can go to my website swordstarot.com or all the information is down below also the links to my blog channel patreon and p.o box are down below as well so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day